Welcome back everyone to Banished and thank you very much for the comments and answering some of my questions around the dairy uh, which we will work on. Um, there's a few comments around the, uh, the statue carvers as well so I have a storage. Unfortunately the one thing that annoys me about this game I can't tell that storage to only take statues which is unfortunate so it's probably going to get filled up with the dry goods um, but there we are I have put a couple of houses down which has been suggested unfortunately it was mentioned I should use tents but they're only a decorative item at least in this version I'm not sure if in the mega mod um, that they're actual houses so a quick look here okay we can go tin let me have a quick check of a few of these things what have we got in here? I don't get some of the food. So domesticated animals is set to 1,000. About tin. Stone statues is 100. Tin is 5,000. Okay, so if we should slowly but surely clear out all of the tin that we have. And we do have a fair amount dotted around. Most stockpiles were rammed full of it, like this one, for example. So yeah, we should clear that out. But... I'm reasonably happy. Food is okay. I think once we get the statues going, I might look into jade and marble as well, which was suggested. Here comes another death wave. Why not? <laughs> but I want to finish this off in this episode, so I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this is working quite well. I'm quite happy with, with what's happening. Looks like I've missed a little bit of road here, so we will chuck that in. I think we used the verdant, didn't we? Yep. And I also need, because I wasn't paying enough attention, to put a stone road around here, which is going to be a little bit weird because it's slightly offset, but if we kind of do it like that, I think it'll work a little bit better. I want to leave a tiny gap just at the side of the house so I can put some logs and things. Um, which they're going to obviously use for fuel decorative obviously but you know <laughs> it has to be done so I spoke about the the grass in here and a few of you said leave it and a few of you said change it so I might kind of meet you all halfway and, and ch change it a little bit and keep some of it uh, basically I'm going to put some trees in here so I can keep the duller grass under the trees maybe because it doesn't get as much sun so that, that's kind of like what my thought pattern is but I want to replace the ones in here with the pasture squares that you get here just because it, it looks a little bit hmm I don't know what the word would be but I'm not too fond of it so we're going to do that like so and the thing is I kind of guess it is a small area so the cow would probably trample the grass and it and it probably should be slightly darker but I don't know I just think it looks a little bit better like that and then we can also add a trough in here because there's no trough the cow literally just stands in situ and doesn't move and I'll just bang my head on my microphone I just need to stop leaning forward so much oh they're not ghost items quite a death wave coming again quite fond of them in this series. Do we have? Yes. Let's have a look. What's going to suit best in here? So I think that one. Are we going to cycle all the way through? There we are. I'm not too worried about the death waves. I know a few people are, but it's just, again, I know I've, I've spoken about this quite a bit. It's just to do with the fact that I like to expand quick to decorate. It's not like I'm trying to play the game to win. So it's not a big problem. There we go. And I guess we could chuck some hay in here. I could literally put it right in front of the cow, couldn't I? That's quite a big pile. I can have a smaller one. So can you. I might give this, this greedy cow here a big pile. There we are. Something like that. We had to trade it though, let's go and deal with that because I need to make sure we are still getting food because obviously we're not producing a lot. Yeah, this is the issue now. We're not quite getting as many domesticated animals as we were before. So we're missing out on quite a bit of food. I wonder. 
food. So we used last year 81,000. And we've got three times that at the moment. So we've got enough, assuming I don't expand, for another three years, give or take. But we're producing 22,000 a year just on the, the few things we're doing. So it might be okay. We've got some stone statues in there. I guess it's just they're not being taken here quick enough. Maybe. What's the maximum amount I have? I think this is the problem. Because they're going to go for that first. So if I put that down to... They're 250 each, aren't they? So let's put it as 200. And if we go to the tin... Because the other thing they've got to do as well... Is they, they have to move all the food out. So if they've got nowhere to take the food... That's also going to be a problem. So there's a lot of food in this one. They're not full, so it's nothing to do with that. Dismiss you. And we'll quickly change this one. Here comes all the people dying. 200. I don't know if... We have the building in this version... That actually makes domesticated animals. I think it's the... Actually, we do, don't we? It's the stable. So I could potentially... Put that in. I don't really want to, but I suppose it, it could top up... What we're doing. 200. Why have they got stone statues in here? Or half, there we go. That's fine. And we have quite a lot of spare labourers, so I wonder. Okay, there's some domesticated animals coming in from over there. I think. Don't quote me on this. I think you get more if you remove the trees. I think it seems to be more kind of under a forested area. Could be completely wrong, but as soon as we're going to need things like wood, I'm going to clear out some of this anyway. You are bringing us sugar cookies and rice, which we don't need. Okay, let's get back on with what we're doing. Yep, so we've got that road in. We need to do some squares here. Like so. Perfect, and rotate our square here. I think that's just what we want, and I think just a little bit of rust square. Like, yeah, that'll do nicely. I just really don't like that strange little edge you get. Perfect. That, I think that's right. Okay. Do you know what that might look quite good as a cellar? Let's have a look. Don't know if it'll fit. It might not. That's the problem. Um, what have we got? Fuel. Fuel. Oh, it will. Perfect. And we have the same colour. Nice. Quite happy with that. Can we fit one on the side? See, that's what I was expecting it to do, not allow me to. <laughs> that's excellent, though. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so trees. Now, we're going to have to use ghost trees. What season are oh, we in early winter? So, not a good time for doing trees. We really need spring, don't we? So, if I just try and tidy up this edge a little bit. We should. I'm going to ignore the traders for a little while, because we have food. I can deal with some of those issues off camera, I think. There we go. That's fine. I can probably deal with this edge at some point. It's not, it's not a dire emergency, is it? In fact, you, you can hardly notice. Once I put that in, you don't see it on that side, so it's not, it's not a bad thing there. What else have we got? You're fine. So I think we need the pasture square. Just to get rid of that little brown mark we have there. Perfect. The only thing I don't like about that is it's a ridiculously straight line. It's a shame the fence isn't on the line. So I could have put the... I think, what's it called? Is it called a bear pasture? Or 
a ghost pasture or, or naked pasture, <laughs> something like that, where you can put your own fences. So I guess in hindsight, I probably should have done that, and I could have put an edge fence, but uh, it's not not a big problem. Some things will keep me awake at night. That's not one of them, thankfully. Perfect, and that means then we just got to creep along the roads just to do that. Do you know what? I think this this tool, if you can call it that. And dare I say it, it's becoming one of my mo more favourite things. And I would say, we all know my kind of obsession with key walls. <laughs> I actually think this is kind of overtaking that, which is rather strange. Put one of you there. I think that one, and just come across here. We've already done that bit. Perfect. If you're there, nice. We're in late winter now, so we're kind of getting there. So we have we have some troughs in here with food, but there's there's no water. So I think we will go with a couple of those. I like that one. Where's the diagonal one? Perfect. Why can I? I like the idea of that being there. What? We'll Got a few of these around. I don't mind the other ones so much. The problem is with them is that they don't have any water in them. So it just looks a little bit strange. Oh, wait, there we are. Let's try to think where's best to put some of these. And some I think yeah, there's two different ones, there we are. Come on, give me the edge one. Are you the one I'm looking for? You are. Put one of you there. And then, I could just put some of these little piles of hay around. I'm kind of glad that I asked Kral Jörg to make this. Uh, the hay pile, that is. Because it does, it does make a difference. It's just difficult <laughs> to get them close to each other. Which is a, a little bit annoying. The thing is, the cows move around, so I'm just literally going to randomly place these. It might look a little bit odd, but not much I can do about that. Spring, excellent. So, what trees are we going to go with? I really love the oak tree. Because it's such a full tree. And this one is just a little bit strange. The birch tree is nice when we're doing something decorative, I think. Same with the uh, the maple. I think we'll probably end up using oak trees. Let's have a quick look. Oh, that's a nice tree. Some of them just look at... I suppose they're supposed to be slightly medieval, aren't they? Hmm. Home tree's not going to work. The weeping willow, no. Yeah. What sort of trees do we have going on? Yeah. I suppose. Yes, it's a mix of the trees, my favourite trees, I suppose. So let's... That shadow, I think, is always going to be cast in that direction. Now, I can go into the debug and move the sun around. But I don't think, because there's no day-night cycle uh, in the game. So the shadow will always be there, unless I adjust it. So I'm going to kind of place these... There's no point in me putting it here. If we're thinking about giving the castle some shade, because it's clearly not working, so so I might do something like that. We might actually let's have a we might go with a birch. Let's go with the that one, I think. Yeah, it's got a little bit more character, so we'll put one of you in. Although I could put two of those because this one slightly leans away. And we're using this one, were we? That looks a l no, that looks huge. That's not the one I was using a minute ago. I think I used that. I did use that, but I'm going to put. Yeah, I put two of those in. Where's that huge tree? Did it go? It's 
to you. It wasn't you, was it? Wow. I could literally probably have that right in the middle somewhere. Because this isn't farmland as such. Like, they're not, they're not going to be getting crops from here. So having trees here isn't really a problem. I could even sneak a birch tree in here. Where's the leaning one? Oh, I'm not sure how that will look. But we'll, we'll work with it. Okay, so let me slow the game down just a touch. Because I don't want winter coming really quickly. We need... What are these? Oh, okay. These are not ghost items, so that would be useful. I don't think some of these work okay, but I do like the toadstools. Lily pads, obviously, not for here. You can barely make out that birch tree. I think we'll remove that. But we can, I think, have some bushes in here. What have we got? I might use that one, just to add a splash of colour. Let's have a look, see, we'll put one of you there. Maybe another one there, and then maybe just something... I'm sure it's like an orangey-green, that one. Yeah. I think that'll look quite nice. Well, they change colour under the shade, but they look black, that's only... <laughs> <laughs> they look a little bit dead. I thought if the cows would eat the toadstools, that's, a, that's an interesting question. If we just sprinkle a couple of these in. Wait for those bushes to grow. And same over here. I don't think we'll go with the red one. What have we got? It's a nice pretty one, but... It kind of looks... Whoa! <laughs> that is a massive tree. But it's perfect. And at the moment, all the cows are standing underneath it, so it looks quite nice. I might even put a trough under there. That would make a lot of sense. Where is it? Perfect. Fits nicely. Can we put two? Maybe one on the other side? Yeah, I think that'll be nice. Don't, don't know if. Hmm. Yeah. Because, let's say, the shadow is always going to be there. So the farmers, you would think, would give the cows food and water underneath there. That is a massive tree, though. Unbelievable. Right. So, we then... Mm -mm -mm. I'm in ghost items already, yes. Okay. I'll keep the oak tree, I think, for just dotting around the farm, maybe. Let's put a little one in the corner here. don't know if I want any more trees. I was tempted to put one there, but I don't think I'll do it. I'll see how it looks once once we're done. Maybe, maybe this one. That's literally on the same square as the tree, I think. I'm not too sure how it'll look. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I put another bush there or not. We'll see. We'll wait for that to, to kind of develop. Oh yeah, and I was going to change some of the grass. I'm not too sure how to do this, so I'm, I might not actually... Whoops. I might not actually do it. Because I was thinking of putting some lighter green in. But there's not kind of a rough edge. I could do it like a diagonal, but I just don't think it's going to work. It's not going to look right. What are you? Oh, you're cleaning. I mean, you can almost... Where's the darker grass? You could almost put that in the shade. Just to give it a different feel, but... As you see, it's a very straight edge. So I'm not sure I would get away with it. And I'm not sure what difference it would actually make. Oh, I did put another one there. The cow is hiding in the bush there. <laughs> Ninja cow. That looks okay, though. Quite happy with that. Yeah. These poor cows are going to be... Uh, going to be out in direct sunlight the whole time. Let's hope the cape isn't a 
tropical paradise. So birch trees. Hmm. Don't know if I want to use the oak trees. The thing is with these, they get a little bit repetitive because they're all the same. So I'm gonna just dot kind of a few of these around. I might even put in. Where are you? You're in here somewhere. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know what I'm looking for. You are. No, you're the planter, aren't you? Yeah. I might go with one of those. I need to see where those trees are going first before I do that. Thing is with this this privy. I like it, but it's too it's too light. I need it like different colours. Be nice to put it in, but I'd like it like a darker shade of wood. I don't think we'd really need a crane in here. Don't think there is one that would fit. Although I think this white bit here, isn't that for a crane to lift stuff? I'm not I'm not really sure about kind of farm stuff. I kind of like the idea of having that. One of these doesn't have milk on it, does it? Oh no, we've got one there with hay on it. Oh, yeah, let's go with that. Is that all the trees I put? I'm pretty sure I put another one in the corner there, so I'll wait a second for that. What else have we got? We've got tombstones, we've got boats. Boats are not going to work over here. I might. Hmm. I wonder one thing. Um, oh, do you know what? I always get carried away with this tool. I'm just wondering. It does make a difference. I think I think we might go with it. it. Just makes it makes the whole pathway look a little bit more punchy, I think is the word I'm gonna use. It it makes it stand out. I think we might put a little garden in here. I was thinking of putting wood and stuff, but... I think we might go with that. I think that final tree just went in, so I can probably go with my pond. Oops. I just want to fill in the... kind of the surrounding area. I don't want it being clear grass the whole way around, because... It's a little bit re realistic, but it's not completely so. Yeah, it just makes the pathway look... It just defines it much more. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, I won't do all that now because it's um, quite a lengthy job. Might do a little bit of that off camera. There's another tree going in there, isn't there? Is it going... Yeah, there. So I think we'll put you about there. The trees are changing because the season is changing. I'm glad I slowed the game down a little bit. Let's put in a couple more. What have you got? You've got a little pig. Zoomed past it. Food is still looking quite good. Put one of you there. And you... I'm pretty sure there is one with meat on it. And, and milk. So, we might put you here. They need some kind of pathway though, so let's have a look. It is just normal road at the moment. I mean, I could just stick to the stone road, I suppose. It's working on grass. Think. Let's change that. And we need this one. It's more like that, isn't it? Well, it doesn't matter now, anyway, because I've placed over it. Come on, there we go. What's happened there? We got it. Same there. Perfect. Nice. Looks a lot better. So it's kind of getting a little bit more character to it, that's that's the main thing. Let's do something with this. It's going to need barrels. I'm probably going to put a fence around there. Let's have a look. 
That's the white picket fence, isn't it? Yeah. I don't like that one. Well, I need the edge fence, which is this one, isn't it? Yes. So let's go with... What have you there? I'm going to have to position this cleverly. It's only, it's only sticking out slightly, but if I put a larger barrel there, you'd never know it was there. And I think we'll go with the gate. But we've not got a pathway around there yet, have we? Probably there. Yep. Then we can put you here. We're gonna need another little gate here. Like so and Yep, you there. Did I put this corner piece in? Can't remember. Oh didn't realise we got leather. Nice. So that produces leather. This produces leather we get from here? Okay, you don't get any leather from that, and we get leather. We do get leather from this. That's partial square. Let me try and click on it. There we go. So we're going to get quite a bit of leather. So the clothes issue, which seems to have remedied itself, if you remember from last episode, that's quite good. He even looks okay in the winter. That's what I was just kind of looking at. It doesn't look too bad. Probably need to put something else around here. Some of the little decorative pieces, I think. Okay, so what am I going to put here? What kind of texture? Ooh, that's a little bit too harsh. Could use that one. Maybe that one. Pasture is a little bit muddy, I think, and sand is too bright. Key square, sandstone, no, it just doesn't look right. Brick. I do like putting the brick squares in, but I don't think it's going to work there. Swamp looks a bit strange. I think we might go with... I might go with this. Cause it, I know it's supposed to look like leaves. But it just looks a little bit dirty from my point of view. I think it, it'll work nicely. It's a storage area anyway. I need to sneak a couple in there. I mean, I could literally edge the whole building with that, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I think that looks right. I'm quite happy with that. And we need you guys here. Like so. I'm going to just rotate this so it's at the point of my mouse. It's so hard to do it otherwise. Just kind of tidy this area up. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I miss a couple here. The game just not caught up. We'll wait a second because I don't want to put two on top of each other. It, it kind of glitches out and it looks a little bit strange. Don't think I did this though. Perfect. Got. They've not built that corner piece there, but. That looks better. The thing is, even if I didn't put anything else in there, I'm tempted to put some other barrels and things. But it almost looks okay as it is. Oh, I just realised this little uh, wind... Is it a wind vane? Is that what they're called? On top of there. It should have been a different colour, that, because it kind of clashes with the roof. I only just noticed it. This looks perfect. I'm quite happy with that. Now, this is getting water, isn't it? Again, do I put a trough here? I think some barrels, maybe. That's wood, isn't it? Yeah. Which, which, and they look like this remind me of beer, so maybe not those. Mm. Don't know if I like that one. That one's quite nice. Got a few of those. We don't have them as a diagonal. Oh, that's a shame. Though they might work quite nicely, just as like smaller ones. Let's put a couple of those. It looks like we're going for oil. <laughs> I think that'll work. And I like this rough edge. I'm quite happy with that because it is going to be a little bit muddy. 
Oh, the bucket of water does go in there. I wonder, actually. There's only one of those, okay. Yeah, we can't really do nothing with that. I was, it's a shame. I, I'd hoped there was some kind of variation of water bucket. We could use one of these in here, though. We actually have it on the side of the house. They do their washing. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. I didn't realise it was a different colour one as well. Cleaning tub. Maybe. Can we put that in here? I think we'll try it. Why not? Right, so what have we got in the way of washing lines? There we go. Give it a slightly smaller one. Put you in there. It's all in the little details. So what do I need to do now? What What's left? I need to do this trim all the way around. I might put some more bushes and things around. Possibly some lights, but... I, I wouldn't think we'd need lights. I might sneak some in like... Let me show you. I've done this before, so it depends if you've followed my series in the past, but sometimes... You can sneak them, that doesn't look too bad, bad actually, but occasionally you can sneak them right into the building, so all that's sticking out is the lamp, and it, and it can look quite effective. doesn't look good there because of the colour of the building. Yeah, I don't know, I think it doesn't look too bad though. Let's have a look, see how it looks, once they're both in. But yeah, you generally wouldn't have lights because it's kind of farmland, isn't it? Maybe maybe your garden gates or your garden gate. <laughs> Where am I off? Your, your the property's gate would have some lights, and maybe near the home itself. I think I kind of like them on that side, but oh, they do place in a similar place. They're literally sat in the wall, though, aren't they? Hmm. I think I prefer that one in this instance. But this this area's come together fairly nicely, nice, nicely, nicely. I'm losing all power of speech now. That must mean I'm getting to the end of the episode. But um, I think here I'll put another fence, put some bits and pieces in there, um, some hay. I don't think there is a milk. There's things like this, but salt pile. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Copper or fire bundles that look a little bit strange. Yeah. And the farm one is literally food, isn't it? So, I mean, I could put a, a pretend wheat field in here. I think there's different ones, isn't there? That's rice. Rye. Some of these might look better than this. What about. Where's. Where's corn? Is there a corn? Yeah. Could, not that they'd be eating it, but I don't know. I just have this thing in my my mind about oh, I'll put that in the wrong place. Farmers eating corn. Now I don't have corn. I don't think, unless I've traded for it at some point. That one I can't. Can I get rid of that? No. Ah, oh, wonderful. <laughs> I guess I I will be able to once I get some corn. But is this okay? I've not put any texture in there just yet. So then we could come across here. Just have this tiny little corn patch. Don't know if I'm going to need to remove the road from that. Only if I zoom out this far, you can see it looks a little bit strange. I'd have to put the same sort of road in, but I'm not going to zoom out that far. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll look okay. We're going to have to trade for some some corn to make that work. But I don't know what you guys think. I will end the episode here. And uh, let me know. I'm going to finish this edge off before the next one. I might do a few other tweaks. But is there anything else that I'm missing from here? Anything that you think would look good? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, as always, take care. <laughs>